His word isn't good, Dems don't trust Trump to make shutdown deal. Expectations are low that anything will come of a meeting between Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi and Donald Trump. Donald Trump's meeting Tuesday with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer may go a long way toward determining whether the government enters a partial shutdown before Christmas. But as Democrats seriously re-engage with Trump for the first time in nearly a year, their broad distrust of the president has expectations for a deal at rock bottom. We've had limited success in dealing with this president said Senate Minority Whip Dick Durbin, deal. His word isn't good. Within 48 hours he reverses himself. It's very difficult to enter into a long-term agreement. The House and Senate Democratic leaders have been here before. Multiple times over the past two years they thought they'd cut a deal with Trump only to see him swiftly trash Chuck and Nancy and demand hefty conservative concessions. Now Trump is threatening to shut down a large swath of the federal government if he doesn't get billions in funding for his border wall. But Democrats say they have no reason to think talks this week will end differently than they have in the past, according to interviews with more than a half dozen House and Senate Democrats. And the Democratic leaders, constrained by an aggressive left flank in the party, are in no mood to even try to strike a sweeping immigration deal like in past negotiations. Previously, they offered as much as $25 billion for Trump's border wall in exchange for protecting 1.7 million young undocumented immigrants from deportation. That's no longer on the table. Sen. Jeannie Shaheen, DN.H, said of such a trade these days, I wouldn't support it. We've said we'll fund the wall in exchange for addressing the dreamers and immigration issues. He said fine and then he reneged Shaheen said. I understand their concerns said Sen. Lindsey Graham, RS.C, a close Trump ally who was undercut by the White House earlier this year during immigration negotiations. It's tougher around here now. We've had two or three stops and starts with immigration. Schumer and Pelosi have tried to project unity in recent days, saying they won't give Trump the $5 billion he's asking for and calling to keep Department of Homeland Security spending at current levels if needed to keep the government open. But even as the Democratic leaders look to avoid a shutdown, they don't have complete freedom to maneuver. Pelosi is working to win over 218 Democratic votes for her speaker bid and can't afford to alienate an emboldened left wing of her caucus. Schumer, too, is trying to brush off criticisms over his negotiating record from liberals who think he shouldn't give the president any spending at all on a border barrier, even as Congress provided more than a billion dollars last year. Pelosi has previewed her posture in recent remarks saying she wants to punt the debate altogether with a stopgap homeland security funding bill. In some ways, Pelosi is negotiating with Trump as much as she is with her own caucus. The California Democrat is just weeks away from clinching the speaker's gavel for the